Hi guys, it's Danny. This is the second part of the balcony tour for December. If you missed the first part, I'll add it in an info card right here. So this is actually the second day. Uh, something happened yesterday. So I'll upload this today, even though it's casual Sundays. We'll do the topic of casual Sundays some other time. Um, so yeah, sorry I didn't post anything today, but let's move on with the balcony tour. So upstairs we have the Paphio Petalum American Hybrid. He's looking very pretty there. I'll feature him more when uh, I do the video about what was in bloom this month. Uh, so as you can see, I can talk better today. Ooh, alrighty. Okay, so this here is the um, Peggy Rose Carpenter gem. She only produced one very mutilated flower this year. Not sure why, uh, but I did see the spider mites are back. I started to do the treatment again and we already have two casualties. Um, that's it for winter, but yeah, so this is the first casualty. As you can see, this growth rotted because water was left there. Uh, so I am in a pickle. Should I do the spider mite treatment and risk new growth rotting or should I not and risk the spider mite infestation? Yeah, so the dendrobium uh, velvet melody is still in bloom. He was in bloom for the past two months. So I'm very, very happy with this guy. Uh, he lasts for quite a lot of time, so I'm really happy. Alrighty, um, here stuff are growing. Nothing super, super interesting. Uh, there you go, this is the Franz Wickman. What's really disturbing about this one, let me see if I can give you a close-up. Look here on the column. Do you see those spots? Those are the spider mites. They're even on the blooms, I cannot believe it. So what I'm gonna do pretty pretty soon is unpot all of the orchids as you might know and I'm gonna try the neem oil thing once again. I hate the smell of neem oil but I am prepared to endure it. If it takes care of the spider mites or at least it makes life very hard for them, at least that. The Nelly Eiler is still in bloom right there, looking pretty, but I'm not sure if this plant will really like my new climate, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring it with me. This is the CG Robling. Okay, I have an issue with this one. Because it produces a lot of sap, hopefully you can see, I have a little bit of infestation, not infestation, infection on the leaf here, as you can see. I didn't treat this one for spider mites, so it's now water, it's just that sap, and I'm trying to remove it as much as I can, but it keeps coming back. So, happy sap? I don't think so. Really? I hate that sap when it's excessive. Um, this is the Basol Blanche. He's pulling through, but it's gonna take quite a while for this one to be healthy. Upstairs we have a bunch of Oncidiums. Some of the highlights, the Geyser Gold is in bloom. Very mm, tiny flower spike. Uh, he's pulling through as well. He really does not like dry environments, this particular hybrid. So this one I think is a little bit tricky. And I do know quite a few people who have trouble with the Geyser Gold to get it to flourish I mean because I do believe he needs more humidity you see the wrinkles so he's not truly happy he would prefer me to provide more humidity well winter time is humid we'll see from next year so this is the Colmanara wildcat still in bloom she is really an easy grower and I'm really happy to have it um, so if you're looking for a, an easy to grow Oncidium this is the one to go for because it's really easy let's check downstairs so this is the um, tropical pointer, there we go. She has a nub in here in the sheath, but it's not growing, so I'm not sure if she's gonna bloom just yet. Maybe she <laughs> would like to have more light, so maybe she's gonna bloom in the springtime. We'll see. This is the Dendrobium spectabile. As you can see, he has a new growth, no spider mites, but I'm gonna treat him as well because you never know. I absolutely love how actually glossy the new leaves are, they're not gonna remain like this, but they're really, really pretty. Alrighty, nothing super interesting going on here, but I'm just gonna give you a look of everything. Um, alrighty, this is the Millennium Magic going dormant in the sense that I didn't water it for quite a few weeks and he's fine. And this is the Bariota Dendrobium blooming away here. I cannot wait to do the treatment on this guy because he is full of spider mites. Well. I tried to remove them by the shower thing, but yeah. Alrighty, these are the seedlings uh, that I currently own. They are growing, they're in their growing mode. 
Um, this is my experiment, as you know, with the new media. It's going pretty, pretty well. I'm happy. The twinkle is, um, he lost the blooms on this pike. It didn't last too long. It just went brown. Not sure why. This one seems to last a little bit longer than this. And the other seedlings, as you know them, not doing very, very much. And on this wall, I have the Hawaiian, Hawaiian Splash Lea, still a bit in bloom. And upstairs, just another bunch of Oncidiums. Alrighty, so let's move on to the last section of the balcony. And here are my Calia orchids. This is the one that we try to induce new growth on, and it's going pretty well. The new growth is producing roots, as you can see there. So she's doing quite fine. Uh, this is a very old pseudobulb that decided to die. This is quite a, quite a large Calia orchid. Um, I'll get rid of it when I'm gonna unpot it, actually. These are another few of my orchids. This is something you didn't see for a while, the Schumburkia. She's doing okay, but she doesn't really want to bloom. And upstairs, nothing truly interesting. Oh, this is the uh, Phalaenopsis leodoro. She produced uh, quite a nice looking set of leaves. I tried to keep her without spider mites, but it's tough. I left the old flower spike because some sources say this orchid is sequential, bloomer. But I don't think so. It did produce a secondary branch here and it also is producing a new um, spike. So that's okay, but I think I will actually cut the old spikes just to leave more energy for the new spikes. And here we have some um, African violets. They are always in bloom somehow. I don't do anything in particular to them, but they seem to like something. This is quite beautiful. I do like this one. And a little update on the other Encyclia cardigera. There is no more sign of um, fungal infection, as you can see on the leaves, so I'm happy. I think this one was saved. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy, because she might be different from my other Encyclia, so that's cool. Okay, let's move on to the Vanda orchids. Just a little look at some other African violets right here. Uh, yeah, I'm not a super huge fan of them, but they are really pretty, and I also forgot to show you something here. This is the um, pitcher plant that I have, the carnivorous plant. Uh, <laughs> what's the name? Nepenthes. So she produced two babies right there, and hopefully you can see they produced the smallest and the cutest pitchers right there. They're just the cutest things. I don't know what they eat. I think fungus gnats. Alrighty, let's move on to the Vanda orchids. Oh, here are some stuff that I just watered and I keep them here to dry off a little bit to drip because if I put them on the wall they're gonna drip on top of the tulumias. That's not good. Here's an update on the sick Vanda. I have an issue. <laughs> I treated it. This is the second casualty. I treated it for the spider mite thing because the Vandas have a few spider mites as well. Jesus. And we have a little bit of a crown rot situation here. Hopefully I'm going to be able to contain this. If not, it's fine because we have a keiki here, which looks good. He didn't get infected. But somehow the top of the orchid did. This is really not going well for me. Oh, my other vandas are in the water right now. Um, okay, give me a second. Okay, there we go. I wanted to bring this one because she is pretty. The yellow vanda is in bloom and she is quite, quite gorgeous. Too bad this one only blooms once a year for me. I don't know if it's a cultural thing or it's just the way this hybrid is. Anyway, the blue Vanda up here, she's growing a flower spike. Let's see if I can find it. There you go, it's, it's just a flower spike. Nothing super out of the ordinary. And of course the Bangkok sunset is in bloom as well. She's looking so, so nice, smelling so, so nice really really love this hybrid and I can almost pet her. I'd rather not though. Alrighty, let's make a little update on these guys. This is the Stanhopia marizana. Um, you guys are asking me about these plants so as you can see the two new growths look a lot better than this new growth right here. So she's pulling through, she's doing quite well and let me get the other one. And the Bulbophila medusae, she is uh, producing this new growth here and recently I discovered a new growth, another one, which is growing from this old bulb right here, which is nice. So I kind of created a little space in the moss for it so it doesn't rot to death. But yeah, he's pulling through. I'm happy about it. Okay, so this was the balcony tour. I have a few more orchids on the other balcony. 
but I don't want to bring them here. They're the Dendrobium nobilis who have buds. I don't want to bring them into this balcony because those guys are mite free for the past year. I managed to get rid of them, but I separated them in the other balcony. So my issue is with this balcony because there's a ton of orchids and also mice move around and I cannot stay on top of things. So I'd rather not move them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them when, it, when it's going to get really cold. We shall see. Alrighty, so thank you guys for watching this balcony tour. Hope you enjoyed this one better than the other one. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and a share. Subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos. And also feel free to leave me comments down below if you have questions or suggestions for videos. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!